things that has happened to the people of Chiguma uh, and the uh, local local government. Uh, the unwarranted attack and uh, uh, so on. So it has been going on. And every day, killings are going on, attacks are going on. And uh, you know that my farm is close to Bajima, the headquarters of the Maluka government. And if they can come as far as that place uh, and invade and attack them, it is worse. And this is why I feel very, very sad. Whose responsibility is it to enforce the laws? If the IG is relocated here, and these things are still happening. And even security men are not spared. We also heard that security men were also killed, and uh, some were missing. Uh, we recovered one yesterday uh, through the uh, paramount ruler of the Maluka government. Uh, we handed him over to the commissioner of police. Uh, so this is the challenge we have. We are under siege in this state. And there seems to be complicity because when you hear federal government agencies, those who are responsible uh, for ensuring protection of lives and property, making cynical comments, uh, dancing on the graves of those who are being killed, uh, making mockery of what uh, we, we, we stand for because we have chosen to be law abiding, to respect the rule of law in Benin State and then we have become targets and uh, nobody is uh, saying anything. It is unfortunate and I, I find it difficult. But like I keep saying, the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. I stand with the truth and nothing is going to make me waver from doing the right thing. Because uh, today the first PPRO said, I mean he called on you to resign. What is your reaction to this? Well, well I have not watched it. What did he say? Why, what, why, why he called you a drowning man. He called you a drowning man and said that. Drowning man, him. how? A man who respects the rules of the law and somebody from the police who have completely uh, neglected their duty as enforcing the laws of the land. So, who should be calling for resignation? Is it me who is doing the right thing? or they who are doing the wrong thing, who should resign? I think it is, it is, it is an obvious question. And uh, it's amazing that uh, they, 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 they are exhibiting that level of ignorance. They are insulting me and insulting Nigerians. That is what it means. And if we keep quiet, and if Mr. President keeps quiet, for an IG of police who have no capacity to contain the crisis that are happening here and he's going to insult me. Tomorrow he will say that because I made the law, that is why there are crises in Benin State. Tell me, for God's sake, is, should the law make it uh, bring crisis to the state? Is it not supposed to provide security for lives and property? And if the Inspector General is the chief enforcer of the law and have refused to enforce the law, and then he's turning it to blame on me, uh, what do you think? I think the, the, the country, I don't understand what is happening. And as if they don't know they <coughs> are the killers of Benue people. Everybody knows. And they know. Go to YouTube. You see the Fulani herdsmen with suffocated weapons, uh, um, uh, the, their militia, who have arrested them. Why have they not arrested these people? You saw them in canoe coming towards Benue State to launch attack with those sophisticated weapons. You saw them, another group, 